Hi guys, it's Friday, June 11th, 2021. So here's the results of the baking and cooking today. I usually don't eat this late in the evening, but I didn't get up till late, so. And uh, yeah, so I made <laughs> fajita, pan fajitas. It's my daughter's recipe. She made them when I was up there visiting and they were so good, so I got the recipe. And I haven't been eating bread now for like a month, so I put mine on salad with cheese on top, and I don't have any sour cream, forgot to get it, but that would be good too if you wanted to do that. So yeah, they're pan fajitas, and use chicken or um, steak, quarter cup of virgin olive oil, well that's what I had, you could just use plain olive oil, and then um, chili powder, salt and pepper, mix it all together, and Put it in the oven on 400 for like 20, 25 minutes till the veggies are however you like them. I like them crisp, but not too crisp. And then, of course, it'd be really good if it was rolled up in a fajita with, <laughs> with sour cream. But, uh, yeah, I haven't ate bread for months now. And then I didn't have any cheese, so I had to think outside the box. I had this mild cheddar sticks because I snack on those once in a while, and then I had to... Um, Oh, the pull apart cheese. God, I can't think of the name of it right now. String cheese. Mozzarella, string cheese. So um, I got the grater out and grated it. <laughs> I kind of stopped at the end and just broke it up because the fajitas were ready. But anyways, this is going to be delicious. And then the banana cookies. I think there's enough for the birthday party Sunday. It's Riley's birthday, Jed's little girl. She'll be eight. Yeah, eight. Cause she's two years older than uh, Ida. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I had to think a second. <laughs> it's like when you have uh, ten of them, you can't always remember. But anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy these fajitas before it gets too much later. So love you guys. Talk to you later. Have a fantastic Friday and better weekend. Um, stay safe. Bye.